Here's the deal. Recently, we've seen a lot of noise on social media about home buyers paying higher interest rates when they have good credit compared with buyers who have lower credit. There's some truth to that. There's a lot of truth to that, but it's a little bit distorted. So here's what happened. And there's also an issue with the dates. So the federal government, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, announced earlier this year changes to their risk adjustments called loan level price adjusters. And those changes impact what is your credit score and your down payment percentage, or really what your loan to value is, and what impact that has to the fee that you pay on your mortgage. Now, I'm going to bring up right now a chart. And if you take a look at this chart, it basically across the top has your loan to value. So on the far left, you're going to see zero to 30. That means, well, zero, you wouldn't be getting a loan. But if you were putting down 90% of the purchase price and we were loaning you 10% of the purchase price, you'd be in that category. On the far right, you see greater than 95. That's if, for example, you were putting a 3% down payment and you, I'm loaning you 97% of the purchase price, then your loan to value is greater than 95%. Across the left from top to bottom, you're going to see the top tier credit score being 780 to the bottom credit score being below 620. Now, the green areas represent improvements. An improvement in the mortgage world is a decrease in cost. Improvement is a good thing for the borrower. And so what you notice is that, for example, in the bottom left corner, we have improvements of a half a percent cheaper fee for someone who has really bad credit compared with someone that has great credit. Now, what's the deal with that? The Biden administration is incentivizing the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac regulators to say, hey, we want to help the underserved. Well, they've said for a long time it's not fair for somebody who has a lower credit score to pay a higher interest rate because that person has been disadvantaged. Um, they might be in a, a lower income bracket, um, and that's why they haven't been able to pay their, their bills on time, and that's why they haven't had a good credit score. And I'm not judging. I'm just saying that when, when you look back at this chart, you see that the lower credit scores are the, where the improvement is coming in. They're incentivizing people. You know, pretty much if you're below a 660 credit score, 680, excuse me, you are getting better terms today than you did yesterday. Now, there's an issue about the date of when this rolled out. It's effective May 1st. Not really. It was effective two months ago because it's effective for loans purchased by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac on or after May 1st. Well, that means we funded the loan 30 days ago because it takes about 30 days to get from when we fund the loan to when we sell it to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, which means we started applying this to lots back in March. So this is not something that's going to make interest rates jump a week and a half from now on first. Um, nothing is going to change. These impacts are already built into the rates. We built them in about 45 days ago. But this chart that you're, that you're seeing here really shows you that the red areas are where we're being most negatively impacted. So you're seeing someone who has a 759 credit score that's putting 15% down payment, even 19% down payment, is paying a three quarters of a percent higher fee than what they would have paid six months ago or three months ago or two months ago. Why is that? Why are we punishing the people that have done a good job in building their credit? And really that whole swath of people that are being charged higher fees are the people between 680 and 779 FICO scores. Now, another interesting fact is this chart used to uh, cap out at 740, meaning if you were 740 or above, you got the best deal. Well, now they've added two extra tiers. And they've said, no, 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 we're going we're gonna to dissect it a little bit further. And people who have between 760 and 779, well, they're not our top tier either. And, and only if you're over 770 or, you go, or 780 are you going to be our top tier. So it's a pretty significant change. But as you look at this chart, you'll see that, yes, you're going to pay a higher fee, which sometimes simply translates to a higher interest rates. In the mortgage world, a cost can either be paid as a one-time fee up front, or we can charge you a higher interest rate over the life of the loan to offset that cost, which is why the news articles are saying that people with better credit are going to be paying higher interest rates. 
they're not going to pay a higher rate than the person with worse credit. The person with the lower credit is still have a more expensive adjustment. And that's the second chart that you're going to see right here, where you see that, hey, when somebody has a, there's no colors on this chart, but when somebody has a lower credit score and um, the, depending upon where their loan to value is, their fee they're paying is definitely more expensive than someone with a higher credit score. But it used to be a bigger difference. It used to be the people with a higher credit score got a significantly better deal than the people with lower credit score didn't. And they're basically having the people with the better credit pay the cost of the loans and the rest for the people with the lower credit. So that's a pretty significant change. There's absolute fact behind these uh, social media articles and, and posts that are going around out there, but I wanted to give you the real story to help you understand exactly what's going on.